Adrastia slash Edgar STI slash, also known as Jupiter 15, is the second by distance, and the smallest of the four inner moons of Jupiter. It was discovered in photographs taken by Voyager 2 in 1979, making it the first natural satellite to be discovered from images taken by an interplanetary spacecraft, rather than through a telescope. It was officially named after the mythological Adrastia, foster mother of the Greek god Zeus, the equivalent of the Roman god Jupiter. Adrastia is one of the few moons in the solar system known to orbit its planet in less than the length of that planet's day. It orbits at the edge of Jupiter's main ring and is thought to be the main contributor of material to the rings of Jupiter. Despite observations made in the 1990s by the Galileo spacecraft, very little is known about the moon's physical characteristics other than its size and the fact that it is tidally locked to Jupiter. Discovery image of Adrastia, taken on July 8, 1979, by Voyager 2. Adrastia is the fainter dot, in the very middle, straddling the line of the Jovian rings. Adrastia was discovered by David C. Jewett and G. Edward Danielson in Voyager 2 probe photographs taken on July 8, 1979, and received the designation S-1979 J1. Although it appeared only as a dot, it was the first moon to be discovered by an interplanetary spacecraft. Soon after its discovery, two other of the inner moons of Jupiter were observed in the images taken a few months earlier by Voyager 1. The Galileo spacecraft was able to determine the moon's shape in 1998, but the images remain poor. In 1983, Adrastia was officially named after the Greek nymph Adrastia, the daughter of Zeus and his lover Ananke. Although the Juno orbiter, which arrived at Jupiter in 2016, has a camera called JunoCam, it is almost entirely focused on observations of Jupiter itself. However, if all goes well, it should be able to capture some limited images of the moons Matis and Adrastia. Adrastia has an irregular shape and measures 20 times 16 times 14 kilometers across. A surface area estimate would be between 840 and 1600 km2. This makes it the smallest of the four inner moons. The bulk, composition and mass of Adrastia are not known, but assuming that its mean density is like that of Amalthea, around 0. 86 grams slash CM3, its mass can be estimated at about 2 times 1015 kilograms. Amalthea's density implies that the moon is composed of water ice with a porosity of 10 to 15 percent, and Adrastia may be similar. No surface details of Adrastia are known, due to the low resolution of available images. Adrastia is the smallest and second closest member of the inner Jovian satellite family. It orbits Jupiter at a radius of about 129,000 kilometers at the exterior edge of the planet's main ring. Adrastia is one of only three moons in the solar system known to orbit its planet in less than the length of that planet's day, the other two being Jupiter's innermost moon Matis, and Mars moon Phobos. The orbit has very small eccentricity and inclination, around 0. 0.0015 and 0. 0.03 degrees, respectively. Inclination is relative to the equator of Jupiter. Due to tidal locking, Adrastia rotates synchronously with its orbital period, keeping one face always looking toward the planet. Its long axis is aligned towards Jupiter, this being the lowest energy configuration. The orbit of Adrastia lies inside Jupiter's synchronous orbit radius, and as a result, tidal forces are slowly causing its orbit to decay so that it will one day impact Jupiter. If its density is similar to Amalthea's then its orbit would actually lie within the fluid Roche limit. However, since it is not breaking up, it must still lie outside its rigid Roche limit. Adrastia is the second fastest moving of Jupiter's moons, with an orbital speed of 31. 378 km per second. Adrastia is the largest contributor to material in Jupiter's rings. This appears to consist primarily of material that is ejected from the surfaces of Jupiter's four small inner satellites by meteorite impacts. It is easy for the impact ejected to be lost from these satellites into space. This is due to the satellite's low density and their surfaces lying close to the edge of their Roche spheres. It seems that Adrastia is the most copious source of this ring material, as evidenced by the densest ring being located at and within Adrastia's orbit. More precisely, the orbit of Adrastia lies near the outer edge of Jupiter's main ring. The exact extent of visible ring material depends on the phase angle of the images, and forward scattered light Adrastia is firmly outside the main ring but in backscattered light there appears to also be a narrow ringlet outside Adrastia's orbit. Cited Sources Thanks for watching.